So I have the pleasure to call on stage Mr. Dennis Horvat, CEO of the company Kix. Hello. Ciao Martino. Yes, uh, thanks for the introduction. Thank you for having me. My name is Dennis. I'm co-leading actually, I have to get used to those avatars actually. Um, I'm leading a retailer called Kix. And we are based in Munich, Germany bound, as you can hear from my accent as well, I guess. And we're specialized on basketball. But today I would like to share with you how we look at innovation. And I, I think it's pretty interesting what, what the guys are presenting to you because innovation is one of the forefronts how we connect with the consumer in the future. At the heart, we are a retailer. But I've heard a lot the word you know, immersive experiences. And that's also where we want to gear towards. So our strategy is really based on going beyond traditional retail to connect with the community. And for that reason, our creator at Kicks is to first of all leverage the past. You know, when you talk about mountaineering for us, it's a basketball, it's that cultural credibility. Then it's about maximizing the present, and it's truly connecting with the consumer, putting the consumer at the heart of everything that we're doing. Who you were mentioning your two boys, you know, like Roblox. That's where the future somehow is playing out. And then we have owning the future. And that is for us exploring new ways that are relevant for the, for the community and for the consumer. In that space is also an important part for us to play where we believe metaverse is an interesting connection with the consumer of the future. This year, we're actually turning 30 years old. It's on our anniversary. At the same time, we're working super hard to also stay the next 30 years in the market. I guess you're hearing it all about all the retail bankruptcies and everything. That's for super relevant. And even more relevant, it is to be connected to our community. And in order to do so, we truly want to shape basketball culture. And when I talk about basketball culture, it's way more than the sport. You know, basketball culture is hip-hop, music, fashion, swagger. It's gaming. Basketball culture is a, is a mindset, a lifestyle, and it's deeply ingrained in our DNA at Kicks. And that's why we don't not just want to communicate all of those facets, but we really want to integrate those in our strategy. So that when a kid thinks about basketball, she or he think about kicks. And for that reason, we really try to cover every consumer touch point. You know, for us, super important to be a brick and mortar company with immersive experiences, e-com as well. But at the same time, we're talking to local communities in order to see how we can give back through court restorations. This year, we're holding over 43 against three tournaments across Germany, Austria, and Switzerland to bring the community together. And at the same time, we want to become a global content powerhouse in terms of basketball. That's why we're talking with the NBA very actively to see how we can also move into, the, into entertainment retail. And another interesting and for us super exciting innovation touch point with our community is Web3, the metaverse, but also services. You know, you talked, I think it was you, uh, Phil, at the beginning, <coughs> hey, crypto. We want to offer our consumer of the future to pay with crypto in our stores and online. And with the ultimate goal to really become the go-to destination, which means for our community to be consumer and community-centric, to have immersive experience versus purely transactional retail, and to invest in innovation platforms and touch points such as Web3. And the question is, hey, why are we doing it? And for us, the, an the answer is super simple. It's the consumer decides. And we have identified for ourselves, you know, talking about Gen Z or Gen Z, never know how to pronounce it actually, um, nine force fields that are important to them. And one of those is the metaverse and digital worlds. We have set up task force for each of those, but for the context of today, I would move into the piece around the metaverse. And I really quickly want to zoom out before I show the practical examples of what we are doing. And I think stats always highlight what is happening in the world. And I think it's very interesting, ever since COVID, you know, the, the worlds are coming together. They are merging. And nowadays, Gen Z spends already over eight hours on the screen per day. They spend double the time with their friends in gaming worlds versus in real life. So they don't see it as an escape, but as an integral part of their life. And not surprisingly, I think it was Stefan also around, hey, how, what are the commercial models behind it? 
they're going to spend 20% of the disposable fun income, what they normally spend for traveling, etc., for in-game purchases. And not surprisingly, they expect their brands to be in those worlds because they are there. They want to identify themselves, express themselves through their avatars, digital clothing. And if everyone says, hey, wow, it's a niche, I can tell you it's not. So just su two super simple comparisons. The gaming world is already bigger than Hollywood and music combined. And on top of that, I'm coming from Germany, in-skin purchases, so for example, if your kids buy Roblox something or in other parts, is bigger in Germany already than the Fußball Bundesliga with six billions in revenue per year. So I think that shows where the tendency is going. So now circling back to us, for us it was really important internally to come up with a concept, a 360 concept. And why am I saying a concept? Again, we are so early. So that concept is based on really testing very quickly and making out of those tests data-based conclusions so we can be closer to our community. And that's why this concept is going to evolve constantly. And it's going to look in three years, I guess, completely different than it looks now today. But where we wanted to start with is, once again, the community builder. Build one-to-one -one relations through new channels, like Discord, to become younger, because that's where the Gen Z is actually hanging out. I heard the word, or the buzzword, NFTs. We actually don't use the word because almost no consumer gets it. So we call them digital access passes. And I'm going to allude in a minute from now what we want to offer that. But it's really about value in the real world and in virtual worlds. And that's our third piece of that strategy or concept, which are virtual worlds like in Roblox, gaming worlds like Fortnite, League of Legends, NBA 2K. Why? Because we can think limitless. We can be more creative. We can co-create with our community. And those three pieces, they offer a tremendous potential for brands, but also for retailers to become younger, to boost that brand value, and to go beyond traditional transactional retail. So let's start with the first piece. For us, what was the core scenario? We didn't have a big budget, to be very honest with you. So we decided to go with small but fast steps using organic channels like Twitter, and you can see here through Ask Me Anything sessions on Twitter, which we hold every week to connect with our community. And you can see how many already have avatar pictures on those profiles. Then we're hosting on a weekly basis on our Discord channel, so-called huddles, we call them at least this way, where we invite our community, but also our employees at Kix to give Kix a face, to be more approachable. And then it's about rewarding them and building bridges to the real life, which means we, through testing and also through a lot of data, we analyze, hey, who are our most engaged members? And then we, for example, set up in real life events like in Berlin, where we invited our most engaged and active members of the Discord channel to participate at a NBA 2K gaming event, and the winner was winning a PlayStation. But those are the things how we always want to bridge back to retail, back to reality. Within six months, we have now over 12,000 followers on Twitter. Almost, I think, at now more than 7,000 super fans on Discord. And the most important thing here is for us really organic community builder versus optimized performance marketing where you pay a lot for consumer acquisition costs. And then NFTs, buzzword, super simple for us, a reward program where we want to build the future of customer relationship management. And, you know, because we, in our team at least, are hardcore gaming freaks, we will be launching within the next two months an avatar collection, Japanese-inspired, where each avatar will have different streetwear styles. And every avatar, based on their scarcity and rarities, will have different benefits that will be unlocked. And those benefits, they range from product incentive in the real world, for example, access to hot sneakers, or special brand rewards, free shipping, Two money can buy experiences. Imagine you get invited as a holder to an NBA game. You sit at court side. Afterwards, you meet athletes of our network. And we go even so far that we say, hey, as an NFT holder, you're part of that project. You are co-owner. You are shareholder. So you get voting rights. Voting rights and we, for example, drop our own merchandise collection to decide with us together, hey, should it be, I don't know, the hoodie in green or in red? So to truly have them part of that and co-create with our community. 
And I know a lot of this looks like a concept, but we are really building it in the background. So what I'm going to share with you here is how we build bridges. Over the last two months, we have been working in the background to bring that Web3 and Metaverse infrastructure together to our Web2 commercial existing store. So that's a staging mechanism right now where you can see if you're a holder and you've chosen, I think it was a Puma hoodie, to buy such, you're going to cartridge, then you will have the option as an NFT holder to connect with your wallet onto our site. And as a holder, you will have certain benefits. Remember, based on the avatar you're holding, that's going to be your access pass. In this case, I think uh, it's a 20% discount, free shipping, etc. And this might look super simple, but for us it's super important because you know the end we're a retailer. We have to pay bills, salaries, rents. And that's for us the first step to build up a commercial model. And then, of course, you know, I'm a dreamer, I have to say, but I like to work in small steps. Once we have launched that and we have our proof of concept, we want to explore new galaxies. And our galaxy, you know, I always say, hey, how can we one day play basketball on the moon? So we decided we build a platform which is called mooncourt.xyz, which will serve as a platform to all those gaming worlds that we've mentioned before. And here's a little teaser of how this looks like. So that's going to be our platform that we're about to launch. And I think what is important, you know, as a step-by-step -step approach and how we really started, and for those of you who might be interested in that, start simple. We started literally super simple. The first thing consumer decides, start building a community in that space and see where the generation Z really is. For us it was, hey, open a Discord, doesn't cost anything. And then we start to talk to that community. As per today, one intern in our company is managing that, that channel. But together with 15 moderators who are coming from the community and who are doing it actually for free because they believe so much in the project. Second step is then really try, try to analyze so you can reward your community. What we do, for example, in that case, hey, invite them to touch points that you have in real life and see who are your most loyal and engaged member be, and members because they become the ambassadors of that project. And then map out where you want to be. We want to be at retail. We want to be at real touch points, basketball tournaments, and see what are hookups so you can bring those two worlds together. In our case, it is merchandise drops, gaming events, so that the community really starts to hang it out at your place. And I think, you know, there's no perfect game plan, but for us it was all about consistency. Like in the gym, you know, you want to show up every week or every day. And to get speed behind it. You know, I used to work in a big corporation before, things were very slow, and what we see is that really speed matters, especially for the Gen Z. And the other thing is, be honest. We did so many mistakes and errors along that path. I was losing hair, I thought like, I wanna kill myself, honestly. But we were, from the beginning, so honest and so open with our community and asked them for help. We received so much back, and I think that's also the future of brand building, to become really personal and to bring a touch into the way how you communicate. And I think, you know, Martino, in the spirit of, of that presentation today and of, of your day, um, I think the most important thing is maybe the mantra or some things I would just like to embrace you is, hey, be super open. And maybe a lot is bogus what I'm telling, but the kids are showing that there's a big dynamic going on in the background. The other thing is just test. Nothing can happen, but test, learn, and build a testing and a feedback culture within your organization. And, of course, <laughs> it's, it's all progress. You know, we had so many game plans, and the, week, the other week already looks different, but it's a North Star. So really start learning about those things and move into that mode of progression. And in that spirit, I really want to thank you for your time. would like to give the word now to Christoph, to Wood, and to Martino, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Great. Great experience. He met it, he met it already, he met it, okay, thank you so much.